Hello and welcome back to League of XCOM Season 3, Episode 32, Operation Cold Shroud. Tonight's mission is a bomb disposal mission. Council missions are a double-edged sword. On the one hand, they are extremely hard at the start, but on the other hand, they're simply the easiest things to slice bread later on. With that said, let's kill some Thin Men. I start the mission off by moving Nasus to a power node. This will also trigger the first three Thin Men on this mission. After disabling the power node, Nasus will take a 50% shot at one of them. He misses, but with heavies, that's to be expected. After that, I notice that Yorick has squad sight shot on one of the Thin Men, but instead I'll be taking out Shivana for the experience. With him dealt with, I move Sivir to Nasus in the hopes of being able to shoot the Thin Men that Nasus missed, but I don't have line of sight to it. Moving on, I cloak Trundle and move him up. When he arrives at his destination, I notice I have one of the Thin Men in my sights. I move Yorick to a better firing spot for next turn. Sinch uses Run-A-Gun for the attempt on the last Thin Men. The first shot misses, but with two 50% shots, the second one gets him. Finally, I move up Sivir. Turn 2, I have Sivir disable a power node and then move her up after that. Singe moves to another power node, but this time I find another group of Thin Men. He disables the power node and does a bit of retreating. Nasus moves up for a rocket next turn. Trundle's going to sit tight on the left side of the field till I need him. One of the Thin Men charges us, and Nasus has an Overwatch shot. Followed by an Overwatch shot from Yorick. He survives and spits poison at Singe. Another Thin Man moves up and shoots at Nasus for a shot that critically connects. The final Thin Man moves up, and once again Nasus' Magnet Face attracts more plasma. Turn 3, it's time for some payback as Nasus launches a rocket into the two assailants. Nasus only has 4 life left so Sivir moves up and uses a medkit on him. This? Oh, it's gonna hurt. With squad sight, Shivana has the last Thin Men in her sights. Sedge moves up for another power node, and instead of finding more Thin Men, we find the bomb. I'm still not convinced that the power node is entirely safe, so Yorick moves up and tosses one of his scanners. Which shows me exactly what I wanted to see. Turn 4 I will spend setting up to take down the next three Thin Men next to the bomb. Nasus moves up for a rocket next turn. Trundle deactivates a power node to buy us an extra turn. And the snipers rush to the left side of the map for some squad side action on turn 5. Turn 5, I lead off with a rocket with the hopes of killing all three Thin Men with it. With that taken care of, we move Sinch to deactivate the bomb. But before we do that, I spot three more Thin Men that need to be dealt with. Sever dashes to get to combat. The snipers take high ground in the hopes of being able to shoot next turn. Up, up and away. Finally Trundle moves up and goes on overwatch. The first Thin Man moves up and takes a shot at Silver. Another one advances, but not before tripping Trundle's overwatch. The target. He lives and Sivir gets shot at again. The final Thin Man moves up and takes a third shot at Sivir. Well, one out of three isn't so bad. Turn six, the rookie Shivana has a good shot to the Thin Man and she goes to take the 81% shot. Sivir has another 80% shot and takes it. Trundle runs and guns behind one of the Thin Men and takes him out with a 100% shot. Going 
Sedge will also running off of the last of them and two sixty two percent shots are not that shit. Turn 7, I move Sinch to deactivate the bomb and send everybody overwatch because the forecast says it's going to be well raining thin men soon. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. We've gotten reports of alien activity near your location. Be ready for hostile forces coming your way. New objective received. Take it care of. <sighs> Shot wide. Down. We take out half of them and there are still three left. Sivir missed an overwatch shot with 100%, she's not gonna miss this one. Singe grapples on top of the cart to spot another Thin Man. But this kill is going to be going to the rookie for the experience. Finally, I have a general idea where the last one is, so as I move Trundle, I step over an Overwatch. With the Overwatch being negated, I take the 100% shot to close out the mission. Well done, Strike One. I'm reading. Back at base, I have some promotions to hand out. Trundle picks up extra conditioning. Silver will be picking up Gunslinger, a few days of scanning, and I find the blue ship. This time, I'm ready to take it out. We have eyes on the bandit. Closing on target. Next mission will be the special alien aircraft. It's worth mentioning I go into this mission with Nasus only having stock gear. I never edited his loadout, the game just bugged, and I didn't realize it until halfway into the next mission. Join me next time guys for Operation Purple Pipe. If you liked the video, please like it on YouTube, as well as subscribe. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comments. As always, I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.